a permutation where some objects are repeated. Consider the number of permutations of the letter in the word defeated. So there are three is and two this. So the number of permutation of the word defeated is in the word defeated we have eight letters, so it will be eight factorial, and then divided by three factorial for the three is and two factorial for the two this. So the answer is three three six zero. So that is how we arrange when the object are repeated. Generalizing uh, this argument, we are going to come up with this formula. So if we have identical objects, R1, R2, and Rk, we are going to divide them. So let's look at example 1. How many different permutations can be made using the letters of the word books? Okay, so n is equals to, we have how many letters in books? We have to calculate. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have 5 letters in books. And we have two identical O's. So the number of permutation will be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Okay, that 2 factorial is for the two identical O's. So the answer will be 60. And then let's look at uh, the word loto. For this word we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 letters. And we have 2 O's. And we have 2 T's. Okay, so the number of permutation will be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times with 2 factorial for the 2 O's and the 2 T's. Okay, so then the answer will be 30. And for example 2, there are 2 copies of each of 3 different books to be arranged on a shelf. In how many distinguishable ways can this be done? Okay, so the number of n, uh, we have 6 books because we have 2 copies of 3 different books. So n is equals to 6. So the number of permutation will be 6 factorial divided by 2 copies of each books. So the answer will be 90. How many different 10 letter codes can be made using 3 A's, 4 B's and 3 C's? So we have 10 letter. Uh, we have 3 A's. We have 4 B's and we have 3 C's. So the number of such codes is 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial uh, multiply with 4 factorial multiply with 3 factorial. So the answer will be 4,200. 4, now let's look at example 4. In how many of the possible permutation of the letters of the word adding are the 2 D's together? And uh, for question 2, the 2 D's separated. So if the 2 D's are together, okay, I'm going to uh, treat them as one unit. We are going to group them. And then what's left after we take out that 2 D, we still have A, I, and G. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we are going to calculate as 5 factorial. And then uh, multiply with among them, okay, that D, they will arrange each other, but because they are identical, so we have to divide by 2 factorial. So the answer will be 120. Okay, if the D's are separated, okay, I'm going to take out that D first, so we are left with A, I, and G. And that 2D can occupy places here. So arranging that A, I, and G will be 4 factorial. Okay, arrange A, I, and G will be 4 factorial. And then for that 2 this, uh, they can occupy these places. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have 5. And then we have to arrange for the 2 this. And then we are going to divide by 2 factorial because that 2 this are identical. So the answer is 240. Let's look at example 5. How many different arrangements are there for the letters of the word arrangements? If it begins with R, ends with E, the two letters E are separated, the two letters E and the two letters E are together, and D, the consonant letter G, M, T, S are together, and for E, the two letters N occupied both ends. So let's look at the first one. 
Okay, so all together in the word arrangement, we have 12 letters. Okay, we have two A's. We have two R's. Uh, we have two N's. And we have two E's. Okay, so for the first one, we want the word to begin with letter R and ends with E. Okay, we want to begin with letter R and ends with E. So it will be only one way here. Okay, and we are left with another 10 letters in the middle. Okay, so we are going to multiply 1 times 10 letters will be 10 factorial. But we have to divide with the identical A, 2 identical A's and 2 identical N. And multiply with another 1 at the end. Okay, so the answer will be 907200. And then we want two letters E to be separated for question B. So originally we have arrangements. Okay, so that is the original word. So I'm going to eliminate that two E's first. So now we have A, R, R, A, N, G, M, N, T, S. So that two E's can occupy these places because they must be separated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven choices for that two E's. So we must arrange for two E's and then divide by two identical E's and then multiply with, we are going to arrange the rest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 factorial. Divide by two A's, two R's and two N's. Okay, so we are going to calculate this. The answer will be 2494,000. Next question C. The two letter E and the two letter A are together. So that two E and two A's are together. So we are going to group them. So the remaining we still have eight letters left. Now we are going to calculate. This is 1, 2, and then plus with 8. So we have 10 factorial. Okay, because E and A, they are together. We are going to treat them as one unit. So we have all together 10. And then uh, we have to divide with the identical letter. Uh, which is, we still have 2 N's and 2 R's. Okay, and then multiply with, among them, uh, that E will arrange each other. But divide with identical E's. And then two A's, they will arrange each other, divide by two A's. So the answer will be 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial because uh, this 2 will be 1. So the final answer will be 907200. Next for question D, the consonant letter G, M, T, S are together. Okay, so we are still left with 8 letters here. This is going to be 1 unit. So we have 9 factorial now. Okay, this is uh, 1 plus with 8. So we have 9 factorial. Okay, and then uh, we have to divide with the identical letters. Okay, we have 2 A's, we have 2 E's, 2 N's and 2 R's. And then we have to multiply with... Among them, they are going to arrange each other. So we have 4 factorial here. So the answer will be 544320. Uh, next, the two letter N occupied both ends. So we have N here and N here. It will be one way here. And then we are still left with 10 other letters. So the arrangement will be 1 times with. Okay, so 10 factorial. Uh, so divide with identical letters we still have two e's two a 
and two arts and we multiply with one here so the answer will be four five three six hundred